Hi you two, welcome back. So today we are going to be listening to the next part of the story and once we have listened to that part I will talk to you about what your learning is going to be today. So we know that our story is Orion and the Dark and we have so far read the opening we're just going to do a little recap now. So we know that our main character is Orion. We know he is fearful and frightened of lots of things, but especially he is afraid of the dark. And on Tuesday, we read a little bit further on and we were thinking about Orion's thoughts and feelings. And we looked at how he feels maybe when he goes to bed. We discovered what happened one night when he had finally had enough of the dark and being afraid and we discovered something strange happened and that Orion had a visitor. So let's read on. And a thing I'd never seen before dropped in for a visit. I was feeling more scared than ever before, even more than when I went to the seaside dog show with Gran. But Mum always says it's important to remember your manners, especially when you're greeting monsters, uh, I mean visitors. So I said, hello, I am Orion. And I offered to shake his hand. Hello there, I'm Dark. Now, Orion, it's time for you to stop being so afraid of everything, especially me. Let's go on an adventure. Ooh, Orion is about to face his fears. Of course, normally I'd be scared stiff of going on an adventure, especially with a terrifying creature like Dark, except this dark wasn't quite what I'd expected. First, he asked to see the shadowy and scary bits of the house, the nooks and crannies where the monsters live, in the wardrobe, under the bed, down the plug hole, in the basement. And you won't believe this. But some of the darkest places turned out to be the most fun. Even having fun couldn't stop me from being scared for long though. <sighs> Wah! Clank! Bang! Squeak! 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 Twit! Twoo! Creak! Tap! 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 Tick! Tock! Tick! Tock! Dark! What are those horrible, creepy and scary sounds coming from outside? Together, we bravely went outside to find the frightening sounds and when we found them, they weren't frightening after all. Orion discovered that the snoring was actually his dad. The tick-tocking was coming from the clocks, the whistling from the wind, the crying from the baby. The twit twooing was coming from the owl. The tap 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 was coming from the branches of the trees hitting the roof. That's no monster, said Orion. The night time is much more interesting than the daytime. And we're gonna stop there. So, Orion has faced his fears. He's been really brave and gone off on a bit of an adventure with the dark. So your learning for today is to write about a time that you have been really brave and you have faced your fear. So I look forward to seeing your writing. If you want to, you can go back onto the Padlet that we've been using for our predictions and you can show me your writing about a time you faced your fear. Keep up the good work here too. Come back tomorrow to hear me read the rest of the story. Bye!